Okay, back here in Keynote. Now we'll be talking about unions and enumeration. So first off, unions. And they uh, unions allow the same portion of memory to be accessed using different variable names and possibly different types. And it kind of looks the same as a structure. You have union, then the union name, the members, which in this case are budget and amount I want to spend, and then the union variable to get access to the members. And both budget and amount I want to spend occupy the same physical space and memory. So when you modify one, you modify both. And you would really only use unions when you need to conserve space. But you can also use uh, unions like the following. You can put them inside a structure. And just remember you're just accessing the same variable with two different names. So that's really the core little cool thing about a union access same variable with two names. Now enumerations, you use uh, this in code with enum and they allow you to create new data types in a similar way you did before with a structure. Um, because the mechanics work the same as a struct, uh, so do the different ways of declaring a structure apply to enumerations as well. So you can use the whole type def thing and create like a new data type. So here we uh, have type def, enum, and then uh, value 1, 2, and 3. And another thing with enumerations that is different than structs is use commas after them, not semicolons. So you separate them all with commas, but they still all are in braces like structures. But um, this is really what uh, makes enumerations different. They are ints. So all the values inside enumerations are ints. And uh, if you don't specify what integer value the first member is, it will automatically be zero. And you can assign any value to um, a member of an enumeration. But if you don't, the member will be given the value of the previous member plus one. So let's say you did. Um, specify what integer value the first member is. Let's say you said it would be 5. Well, you didn't then for the second two. The next would be 6 and 7 automatically because it just adds 1 to the previous member. But now we'll be going into Xcode and unions and enumerations will make a whole lot more sense once you actually see them in code. Okay, now to test out unions and enumerations in code, we actually won't be using the vacation budget application that we have been using. We'll be creating a whole new uh, program. So go to Xcode, File, then New Project. Then under Mac OS X Application, select Command Line Tool and Foundation. Then hit Choose. And then you can save it wherever you want. And I'm just going to name it Unions Enum. Here. and then go ahead and save it. Okay, in your newly created project, go to unionsenumerations.m or whatever you named it, .m and just delete everything inside of main there. And first off, we'll be starting off with a union. So type in union and then I'm just going to name it uh, the union and then I'm going to, I'm just going to need both of them be doubles dollar and euro and then the union variable the union okay so the union dot euro what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare or not declare but assign to to uh, euro and then I'm gonna or show both of them in NS log in the debugger and both of them will have the same value even though I only assign two to one of it because like I said they occupy the same physical space in memory percent dot two f the union dot dollar Okay, now on to the enumeration. 
I'm going to use type def and enum, then the braces, and then I'm going to have three uh, values, but I'm only going to assign a value to one of them. So I'm going to have dollar, euro, and pound, but I'm only going to assign a hundred dollars to a dollar, then euro, and whoops, made a big mistake there. Comma, not semicolon. Be careful when you're uh, using enumerations because that is a very easy to mess up because you're so used to semicolons at the end of everything. So now we're just going to display all of these in ns log. And because they are integers, you use percent %i. And you may be saying, well, why aren't you using the union variable to get access to them? Why are, how are you just using uh, the straight dollar? Why don't you use currency dot dollar? Because these are actually, uh, with enumeration, you don't have to do that. It's because we had a, we made a type def. So we had this currency. So uh, you could do currency, something like currency, and then the dollar variable, variable. Uh, boy, I cannot type, whatever. Uh, so you have, this is like saying int, because the enumeration is an int. So the new type that you created, and you called it currency. So it's like saying int dollar variable and then you could assign it a dollar which is the same as assigning it uh, 100 so that's kind of what you can do with currency but no you do not have to use the dot syntax the whole currency dot to get access for the ns log pound equals percent i pound Okay, here we go. Let's build and run. Save all. Okay, everything built and ran correctly. As you can see, euro is 2, just like I assigned it to be 2 right there, but also dollar is 2, and I didn't assign it, so we do know it's using the same uh, physical space in memory. Also, dollar is 100 because I signed it to be 100. But also, euro is 101, and pound is 102. So uh, enumeration does add 1 to the last current value if you don't assign a value to it. And that is it for this lesson. Now, I know that uh, unions and enumerations may not be anything that is really vital that you have to know to program, but I just want to make sure you have a good, solid foundation before we get into object-oriented programming which is just two lessons away so that'll be awesome so uh, stay tuned for that and please comment like and subscribe for more great programming videos like these and check out some of my other videos if you haven't already thanks for watching